sana wa karibu endelee kujifunza na katika somo hili tutaona maana na matumizi ya maneno haya neno letu la kwanza ni lead linalofuata leader na tuna leadership lead leader leadership maneno haya yote tutayaona maana yake na vile anavyotumika katika sentence kupitia mifano tulionayo hapa tuanze na mfano wetu wa kwanza example 1 Who do you think will lead the discussion? Na tukienda hatua kwa hatua tuna maneno haya who do you think will lead? Hapa neno lead inamaanisha ongoza. Lead ongoza. Who do you think will lead? Inamaanisha unadhani nani ataongoza au unafikiri ni nani ataongoza? The discussion inamaanisha majadiliano au mjadala. Majadiliano au mjadala. Kwa pamoja tunapata who do you think will lead the discussion? Who do you think will lead the discussion? Inamaanisha unadhani ni nani ataongoza mjadala au unafikiri ni nani ataongoza majadiliano? Kwa hiyo hapo tumeshapata Neno letu la kwanza ambalo ni lead ongoza lead ongoza Twende katika mifano iliyosalia ambayo pia itatupa maana ya hayo maneno mengine Tukienda katika mfano wetu wa pili example 2 tuna neno leader ambapo katika wingi ni leaders Leaders are readers Leaders are readers Leaders inamaanisha viongozi Leader inamaanisha kiongozi kwa hiyo leaders viongozi readers wasomaji readers wasomaji kwa hiyo leaders viongozi readers wasomaji leaders are readers viongozi ni wasomaji kwa maneno mengine viongozi ni watu wanaojisomea au ni watu wanaosoma sio kusoma kwa maana ile kujiunga na shule fulani kwa ajili ya kujifunza yawezekana ikawa hiyo ni sehemu lakini hii inamaanisha hasa kwamba ni watu ambao huwa wanasoma ili kupata maarifa maana hata kama hawako katika mfumo rasmi wa shule au wa mfumo wote ule rasmi ambao utawafanya wa wasome kwa kufuata utaratibu fulani wao ni watu ambao wanajihimiza na kusoma vitu tofauti tofauti kwa hiyo hapo leaders are readers msingi wake umekaa katika hiyo maelezo niliyotoa You should read a lot if you need to be a good leader. You should read a lot if you need to be a good leader. Nikienda nayo hatua kwa hatua You should read a lot inamaanisha unapaswa kusoma sana au unatakiwa kusoma sana. If you need to be kama unahitaji kuwa au ikiwa unahitaji kuwa a good leader kiongozi mzuri a good leader kiongozi mzuri kwa hiyo tukianzia hapo mpaka hapa kabla ya kuisema yote kwa pamoja tunapata you should read a lot if you need to be a good leader you should read a lot if you need to be a good leader unapaswa kusoma sana ikiwa unahitaji kuwa kiongozi mzuri au unatakiwa kusoma sana kama unahitaji kuwa kiongozi mzuri na tukienda nayo yote hii mwanzo paka mwisho tunapata leaders are readers you should read a lot if you need to be a good leader leaders are readers you should read a lot if you need to be a good leader viongozi ni wasomaji unapaswa kusoma sana kama unahitaji kuwa kiongozi mzuri viongozi ni wasomaji unapaswa au unatakiwa kusoma sana ikiwa unahitaji kuwa kiongozi mzuri kwa hiyo hapa pia tumeshaona leader kiongozi ambaye wengi wake ni leaders twende katika sehemu ya tatu tuone maana ya hili neno leadership example 3 mfano tatu everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly tukienda tu kwa tua everybody kila mtu au kila mmoja everybody praised kila mmoja alisifu 
his leadership uongozi wake na his ni uongozi wa mtu ambaye ni wa kiume kwa sababu ya neno his his inawakilisha wa kiume kwa hiyo hapa mpaka hapa tunapata everybody praised his leadership everybody praised his leadership kila mmoja aliusifia uongozi wake au kila mtu aliusifu uongozi wake kwa hiyo hapa tumeshapata neno leadership kama uongozi tumeanza na neno lead lead ongoza leader kiongozi leadership uongozi because kwa sababu he always led fairly he always led fairly inamaanisha mara zote aliongoza kwa haki au siku zote aliongoza kwa haki hapa neno led ni simple past ya lead na pia ni past participle ya lead kwa hapa neno led imetokana na neno lead kwa ni ongoza lakini katika wakati uliopita he always led fairly mara zote aliongoza kwa haki au siku zote aliongoza kwa haki tumesema aliongoza kwa sababu kitendo lead kimehamia katika wakati uliopita na kuwa led kwa hiyo hii sentence yetu yote ya tatu tukisema kwa pamoja tunapata everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly kila mmoja aliusifu uongozi wake kwa sababu mara zote aliongoza kwa haki kila mmoja aliusifu uongozi wake kwa sababu mara zote aliongoza kwa haki pia unaweza kusema kila mtu aliusifu au aliusifia uongozi wake kwa sababu mara zote au siku zote aliongoza kwa haki ninarudi tena mwanzo kabisa ili niweze kusoma hizi sentensi zote kwa Kiingereza peke yake ili kukupa fursa ya kupima ni kwa kiasi gani utaelewa hizi sentensi zikisomwa kwa Kiingereza tu lead leader leadership number one, who do you think will lead the discussion who do you think will lead the discussion number two, leaders are readers you should read a lot if you need to be a good leader leaders are readers you should read a lot if you need to be a good leader number three, everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly everybody praised his leadership because he always led fairly 